I wore wheels the 9th of March I'm back off my holiday so I've come back yesterday, Friday, last night it's the 2nd of March, 20 past 12 I've had my breakfast I've not gave things a good look over yet I'm at the main pond as you can see I've cleaned the filters out it wasn't actually overflowing this pond it was really high up I've got an overflow on it but the pond water level was really high so um, I've cleaned the filter out and it looks like on my waste pipe there's a T and I think there was a blockage on there, a leaf or something so it wasn't overflowing, it was all clogged since I've cleaned the filters out and uh, purged everything it's um, got going again so it's not quite that weather yet for me to actually spring clean everything so um, yeah it's still a bit bit chilly in the air for me I'm, so I'm not in the mood for taking all the pond balls off and so on and so forth and stripping the filter down and getting up and running again the shower it's got to be a lovely warm day for me for that what it is about there'll be a day soon not long the next couple of weeks where the weather will hit 15 16 17 degrees maybe a lovely sunny day sun beating down one of them days well, that'll be the day for me because i've just come back from 23 24 degrees c days in lanzarote <laughs> and it has been bloody glorious a bit chilly at night when it drops to 15 16 degrees just need a jumper on or something like that but um oh come back last night on friday and it was five degrees five degrees in the uk and we come from 23 unbelievable great experience i recommend it to anybody anybody get away for a winter break and experience it so in here still a bit of a mess from when i was doing the air source heat pump before i went away so that pond looks okay that pond looks okay all the way through the holiday i've got my daughter was in here i told her to um, come down the garden and she was on facebook so did a video call type thing and it was all doing okay and it's okay now my worst fear when i come into a greenhouse if i've been away or something like that is you just come in and you see you see the pond dead almost it's like the water stopped running and things like that and you've got problems or you can see a floater i've had that before a dead fish not good to come into so before a bit of an update before i went where i noticed on the couple of ponds especially this one not outdoor i'm getting some slimy light blanket weed growing lot can you see it on the surface and it's just starting to form from the edges so i put a little treatment of blanket weed answer in here and it's not done the trick in this one so i've got enough left so i'll put that in that one this one's looking okay um that's lasted a week so that needs a clean out now look so that's ready so that'll be turned off that'll be purged cleaned out i bet the easy pod is ready yeah it's getting low look you can tell when the easy pod needs cleaning out because what you'll find is it will get lower in the inner chamber but there's not a lot of muck in here because i've not put loads of food in they've not been fed for a good week or two i said in one of my last videos that i'm going to change tact with this um on my thinking with the air source heat pump and this new setup with a heater so at the minute it's working well i've got to admit the water pond temperature in there is ooh, 10 point on, maximum 11.6 yeah it's 10.5 you're saying 11.5 on there but i've adjusted that because it's incorrect i've tried to get it more in sync with that and they've changed already that's on 12.1 they're going off there so uh let's see what the cactoil is saying yep 10.5 uh 0 0.14 saying it's 8.4 don't know what that does Ooh. I don't know what that 1MV is all about. Where is it? There it is there, look. It looks like there might be a bit of algae on there. 157MV, 8.4pH. 
Now I've had to move this because the sticky pad, this sticky thing come off when it was getting, it's just come off there and I noticed it had started doing, falling forward. So um, I'm not so sure, it feels really great at the minute but when it gets a bit of moisture on here like this it just seems to start to coming off so I don't know about that, I might have to think, rethink that. So yeah, the fish are looking okay. Um, these have got to come out soon and get a good treatment. So yeah, I suspect that what, what this is, is you can see on the side of the pond, and what I'll do is I'll drain it. Let me, I'll show you. Um, no, that's a bad eye, that's the wrong way. I need to turn the pump off. Pump off. Let this fill up with some water from the rest of the system so it's at the right level for a clean so the water don't look too bad does it because they're not being fed so that's not food debris in there what it is is I suspect algae because like I say I am getting an algae bloom in here it must be the light because the bright light and the heat and the warm, warmer weather than outside it's just that obviously at that right temperature it thinks it's spring in here in lovely spring warm days when that sun comes out like now it just makes it a little bit warmer than outside so i suspect that it's causing a bit of an algae bloom so that's about right let me do that now getting some water that's actually filling up from this like a back like purging look I've got to turn that off. And I'll turn. Oh no, I can't do that. There we go. Let's get the ear going. And you'll see it. You can see it on this side actually. And turn that off. You can see the algae. See it there on the side? Now, what I'll do is you can see it at the bottom of there, look as well like green string but when you drain this when you drain the pod you can actually see it falling away from the chrome sorry the stainless grill you can see it as well coming up there look there you go algae so we've got a bit of an algae bloom so um, this one doesn't look too bad to be fair saying that the top of the walls are pretty getting some algae on this top here right at the top where the sun's hitting it and yeah and there's a bit of string algae in there as well so ah what a pain in the butt so that needs another treatment to knock that on its head but the fish are looking good looking good in the moving bed you're sure you'll agree looking great looking in good shape so that's maturing I don't know what that's done it's filling this up excuse me let me turn that off turn that back on I need some more water in there goes look at that lot wow algae 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 oi 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 getting an algae bloom could have done without that but hey ho it's spring time for me in here it's obviously to look at that mom look at that algae Wow, so obviously got to get that out of there. The fish won't mind it. They don't mind it at all. They might like a bit of a nibble of the algae. So why that's having a bit of a clean? Oh, these are growing well. Just notice these. Look at that. Really kicked off. So let's go and look at the 
air source heat pump which is obviously turned off at the moment just to make sure there's no the bees are busy today just have a look so that is saying it's about ooh, 12 degrees 12 13 degrees Let's go and have a little look down here. I've got to get myself down here soon and have a good weed to make sure this doesn't grow because once this, once these brambles get going again, they are an absolute nightmare to curtail. Look at them all growing. These source heat pumps are okay. There we go, that's alright. So, I've not decided what to do with it yet. Because below 5 degrees, when it gets to zero, it's really not efficient at all. I was only getting a 1 degree raise on the outlet temperature. Um, I suppose now, at 12 degrees, you know, I'd get probably a decent raise and be okay. So, yeah, I've not decided yet whether to whether to actually keep it, but um, for the amount I paid for it, the 300, and it's set up, I, don't, I just don't know. I've got to have a chat with someone about it. So, uh, so yeah, it's um, clean out day for an hour or two. So it's 10.5 degrees, so I'm going to leave it maintained at this. I'm going to refrain from putting food in um, until it's consistently 12 degrees in here. Because it's not quite there yet. So they're having like, if you like, a winter rest until the spring starts. And then that's where then the air source heat pump, I'll start turning the temperature up half a degree a day and I'll start maintaining with the natural rising temperature in my greenhouse and then hopefully get to a temperature in here where it's 24 degrees and maintaining 24 degrees for five months and then away they go and hopefully I can get this pond batter it with a load of food and get them some food in them get them some good body shape and away they go They are all going to come out soon when that temperature starts rising a bit. Have a scrape, get me um, get me microscope set up, give them a spring spring going over. Any that's got any uh, raised scales or anything, this one is still has still a bit red in places. Look. So I need some heat on them really. There's a bit of race scale on the left. Um, this one got I was affected by the nitrite problems and ammonia. Look at it on its on its back quarter there, look on the Benny, there's a couple of scales that are burnt out, if you know what I mean. One blackened and they want coming off and treating. And I think for this one, and then the Shintaro Sanki was affected a little bit on either side which is healing nicely now but um, on one side I've mentioned on that left hand side here got to get that out and give that a clean and uh, pull any yeah it looks like it's raised like a little little tiny raise raise scale so that needs obviously probably a bit of puss in there or something needs cleaning out and that needs cleaning so that'll be then settled get the anti back on them and away they go again I don't know why the water's dropped in there again hmm strange
We've got algae come out the top there, look. Oh, God. Ah. Anyway, joy is a pond in. If you if you get any algae blooms yet, guys. Condition here in here are obviously rife for it to start kicking off. I think I've got possibly enough left for these two ponds. That's only 2,000 and that's only 5,000, so I think I might have enough. I might not might have enough to do that one actually. So I might have to order, I'll have to order some more because no doubt the main pond up there will probably uh, need some as well soon for the condensation in here. Look, since I've turned the temperature down in this greenhouse. So I've turned the temperature down now to about a minimum of, let's have a look, 16. Well, that's not right. High of 16.7. That's not right. There you go. Low of 5.7 it's been in here. Crikey, that was that's some time in the last week. 5.7 Wow the yeah. push that low then I've pushed that low so they've not been kicking in because obviously before they were maintaining 14 degrees and no wonder it cost me about 300 pounds for that one month to eat this place I've turned it down as such now it only maintained 5.7 minimum that's odd though. That's 5.7. And this one's saying 16. Let's reset it. So it's currently 16.6. In that end, there, according to that. And that one's reading 14.6. Two degrees difference from there to where my coffee is. Unless that's picking up some heat off my coffee, that's <laughs> a doubt. Wow, that's strange. The heater is there though, look. No, that's strange. Don't get that. Unless them they are literally sort of getting out of sync now. But even, let's say 15, because there's obviously a tolerance with these. Let's say it's 15 degrees in here. This is maintaining 10.5. So, um, it just shows you that even it's 15 degrees near at the moment, it's not consistently 15 degrees, so it's not going to raise the temperature that much. Not until it's consistently that temperature, averaging it every day. So, um, why is that going down? I must have, um, I wonder if this is not shut off properly. This one drained. Ah, I put my dip pipe up now, look. See this pipe in here, I've done that, I've changed the way it's configured the bottom, I've kicked it upwards so this can't fully drain anymore because what I was what he was doing was draining, it was emptying. So now I'm not losing as much water. Talking of water, this needs, this needs some in it. So not a lot to report. Great to be back. Well it's not really. It's not great to be back. Um, Tell you what, while we're here, let's conclude this one and let's see what's happening in here. A bit of algae in there forming. So this is probably due a clean. So let's have a look. See, we've got some algae forming. I've got to be careful this doesn't clog up. There we go, lot. There's a bit, a bit there. Let's 
going to hose this out and get that out and give it a give it a hose in not too bad there's a few holes blocked let's have a look at the media media's looking good nice and wet really really wet so that is proof to me that this is a lot better and that's working a treat just a bit of string algae come through look so yeah i've got to uh, get on top of that because otherwise if we uh, let the string algae go and just think oh yeah pond looks great i could easily come in here pond looks great fantastic and then in a couple of weeks you've got string algae all in your bottom drain and it'll be clogging that up so you've got to be keep on top of it so i like to in spring when i see it as soon as i see it like this i tend to skim what i can see out with a stick get a cane a bit like making candy floss when you see them making candy floss do that collect as much as you can get rid of that and then treat it with some blanket weed answer no more blanket weed i find this stuff really really good So on that note, hope your ponds are doing great. Um, let's rock on warmer temperatures. It's bloody cold here still, but I'm trying to embrace it. Looking at spring, looking at the positives to my next holiday. And uh, please hit the subscribe button if you haven't, if you haven't already. Please, please hit the like. And uh, if you're a subscriber, thanks for the support and thanks for watching and see you on the next one.